G'day folks and welcome to Ken's Home Video. This is my Super 8 version of Bathurst 1977. In 1977 we took the HQ up and we borrowed a tent from Mark and uh, we stayed in that. Just having a quick spin around the pits and this is the Peter Williamson Celica. Looks like the RX3 is getting a bit of work done to it also. And this is the O'Brien Harrop, 4-door A9X, Marlborough Holden, Bill Team Tirana. In 1977, Gricey had a three-car assault, a four-door aid on X Tirana, which was uh, pretty brand new at the time, a two-door aid on X Tirana, hatchback, and uh, a RX3 driven by Caddy Armour, who had the memorable role at the end of Conrod. On the Saturday at lunchtime, they had pit practice for those who want to uh, change their tyres, practice refuelling, jacking the cars up and just checking anything out in the pit area. Our uh, flag point was just around the corner so it was just a short walk around uh, to get some fill. It was great. We're just looking at the Johnny Rutherford A9X hatchback and they're getting four new tyres. They're also working on the uh, rusty French XB coupe, giving it some tyres as well. And here's the gown hind off, A9X, four door Tirana. Uh, it's getting a drop of fuel from a can. They haven't thought about the system yet, and the wheel nuts are tightened by the Supra Wheelmaster. They're also using a garage trolley jack to uh, raise and lower the car. Looks like Rusty French has got the latest of the technology. He's got a pneumatic bag to lift and uh, raise the car. Also, you note in 1977 there's no pit wall, uh, you just drive straight in off the track. And this is the 1977 A9X Tirana hatchback driven by Peter Brock and Philip Brock. And here we are at the back of the pits. Brian's picked on some board there. And you remember Tony Packard up the Windsor Road right from Borkham Hills. Let me do it right for you. And here we are at the start of the 1977 race. And we're on the last flag point at the end of Conrod. And leading the first lap is Peter Brock, Just, Mel and Grice. And then you've got Moffat and Bond. And the two Holden Girl team cars after that. It was amazing to see how fast the cars were coming over the last pump of Conrod. A lot of the front runners had their front wheels off the ground. And uh, we're hoping our three little pieces of arm car was going to save us. And that's Johnny Rutherford on the back of the quick lift truck. I think he had a smash at the top of the mountain. And that looks like Laurie Nelson in the Capri has got some trouble also. Mm -hmm. 
number 24 of the Marshall, Bill Patterson car, looks like it's going pretty slow, it's probably got a bit of trouble too towards the end of the race. And charging down Conrod is Peter Williamson and the Salika. Peter Williamson drove Salikas in this colour scheme for many years at Bathurst in different shapes or forms. Well, that's about it for the end of the 1977 Bathurst Hardy Ferrado 1000 and uh, it was an outstanding win for uh, Alan Moffat and Colin Bond doing a 1-2 it was um, quite a memorable one that one third was Peter Jansen and fourth was Philip Brock and Peter Brock in the A9X Bill Patterson hatchback <laughs>